uh, welcome back in this video I'm going to show you how to send an SMS uh, to your users using Amazon SNS service uh, which is simple notification service so to do that uh, go to simple notification service and you should be able to see an SMS uh, section right over here the reason you don't see that here because SNS is a region specific service and not all regions support uh, SMS in an SNS service so to see all the regions that support SMS uh, you can visit this particular link and you can see that these are the regions that support uh, SMS uh, in the SNS service so as you can see uh, US East 1 is a region which supports SMS so let's go ahead and select that so you can select on the second drop down and select US East North Virginia and once you select that you should be able to see uh, SMS uh, section right uh, on the left hand side so there are two ways you can send the SMS so you can direct click on text messaging SMS and you can uh, say send an SMS messages and this will send a message to your user you obviously have to give a number you want to send the message to and uh, the, the SMS message is categorized into two uh, categories uh, one is transactional and another is promotional so we'll not go, go into the uh, what is the difference between the those two but uh, when you are sending an SMS you need to select one so we'll come to that later uh, but the important thing is that if you want to just send an SMS to a single device uh, then you can use this provisioning uh, however if you want to send uh, SMS to multiple devices then what you have to do is you have to create a topic and then subscribe all the devices uh, which you want to send the SMS to to that topic and then publish your message onto that topic so let's see how we can do that so go to the topic section and once you go there you have to create a new topic so let me go ahead and do that so create new topic topic name I'm going to say as let's say my uh, SMS topic and display name now this display name is very important at least in case of SMS because the display name that you give will be a part of the SMS that you send right so your SMS would be something like uh, display name uh, then a greater than sign and then your actual SMS message body so uh, display name I'm just going to give uh, a Thakur which is nothing but Aniket Thakur which is my name so uh, that should suffice let's go ahead and click on create topic and this should create a new topic for us uh, you can see that in the list here so let's go ahead and create a subscription for this particular topic so to do that click on this uh, topic and you can see that the subscription list is currently empty uh, what we'll do now is click on create subscription and uh, topic ARN is automatically pre-populated now protocol uh, you can select uh, what protocol do you wish to so we saw lambda in our previous video and this video I want to show you how SMS works so let's go ahead and select SMS and now you need endpoint now the endpoint needs to be the telephone number where you want to send the SMS to so I am residing in India so the code is 91 and do not forget to give a plus sign so you have 91 and then the 10 digit mobile number which is 8884689878 now once that is done you can click on create subscription and you can see that the endpoint is created uh, you can wait for some time uh, till the subscriber uh, field gets populated here uh, you can refresh this to check uh, there we go so subscriber field is now populated now to send a message to this SM to this device uh, or any number of devices that are subscribed to this topic all you have to do is send the message to this topic and to do that you can select publish to topic and uh, there are a couple of fields here uh, subject you can leave that uh, empty uh, that is primarily used for emails uh, this basically forms the subject of the email uh, what we are interested in the message so let's just say hello world and uh, we can leave all other attributes as default and click on publish message 
and you can see that the message published with this so it may take some time for uh, the SMS to reach your device and I will show that in some time how that looks like uh, but before we do that we can quickly look at another thing which is uh, text messaging which is SMS and you can see the stats here which is the number of failed uh, SMS transactions or uh, the successful ones and you can see like I said before there are two types of SMS's that you can send one is promotional and one is transactional and you can see the stats so I here. received uh, the messages almost immediately so this is what it looks like so you can see I have received a message from VK notice and uh, it says Ethakur greater than sign hello world so Ethakur is the display name of the topic if you remember uh, I had said that uh, display name will be part of the SMS that you receive and that is how it looks like so I had sent another message sometime back and this is what it looks like uh, which is Ethakur and then hi and another interesting thing to notice is that this is received from uh, AX notice and this one is received from VK notice so what is VK and what is uh, AX right so let's see VK first so uh, there's a website that sh tells us what this prefixes mean so these are uh, generally for promotional SMS uh, messages and it denotes which operator it came from so for example for this case uh, which is VK so V would stand for Vodafone and then K for K would stand for Kolkata so this is the operator that was used to push that SMS to your device whereas if you take this case which was AX notice then A would be uh, Airtel which is this and then X would be Karnataka right so that's how you know uh, how which operator was used to uh, send out the SMS's but again uh, this is not something uh, that you can control so Amazon internally uses uh, one of those operators to send SMS's to you so I hope uh, this clear how to send uh, SMS's uh, via Amazon SNS service thank you <laughs>